Aferon Residence. Oh, we'll check out this corner club. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Keep your distance. Looking for work. Uh, how are the Dark Elves treated with help? Well, you see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill. What they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I'll try to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, nice but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. Why well, are there so many Dark Elves here? Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind. So we came west. Windhelm is the first city on that road. And here we are. I see. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. Uh, but, but is it Windhelm? No, that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. I see. Looking for work, gun Here, needs. take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Thank you. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Rishio the Collector. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm working with my collection. What kind of collection? You ask a lot of questions, don't you? Fate cards. Now leave me alone. I'm losing count. Fate cards. Oh, I have some of those. Really? That's amazing. I haven't found that many people who keep a hold of them. These Nords are magical neophytes and use them as kindling. I see. If you're interested in starting a collection or making a trade, I'd be interested in seeing what you have. I also have a few spare rare cards I'd be willing to sell. What cards have you got to sell? I have a few choice cards available for the right price. Card of arms, ace and queen. Quite pricey. Let's trade a card. Great. I'll give you a matching card from a different deck. What deck are you trading from? Ooh. Uh, I do not know, but this is interesting. I did not know about this. Um, I guess Mystics and Shadows and Travelers? Yes. But before I buy anything off you, I have a few choice cards available for the right price. Cheaper. Let's trade a card. Right. I'll give you a matching card. All right. And what card would you like to trade away? Five. Excellent. Which of these would you like in return? Uh, one from Deck of Shadows. Okay. Nice trading with you. Uh... I see. Right. Well, we clearly don't have enough to do all that. I trust you know what you're doing with that spell. What's a great quarter? Windhelm is divided into four quarters. The gray quarter is the one that's home to all the city's dark elves. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent of his hospitality. Understandable, I think can move it tomorrow and day goes by that I don't think about returning to the ancestral home of my people. Still, even with the rough treatment we've had at the hands of Ulfric and his lot, I've got ties here. I see. It's probably more trouble to pack up and leave than it is to stay. Besides, Amberus can't run the corner club on his own. Understandable. Keep on your guard. This city can be a little rough for those such as us. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. If you're interested in making some coin, I may have something for you. Oh? Go on. My employer owns the pit fighters here in Windhelm. They pay good money for competing in the pits, now that the arena's closed. They used to be known as the Paladins, Windhelm's old arena team. They train in an old warehouse here in the Grey Quarter, if you're interested. The entrance is near Sadri's used wares. 
You'll want to talk to Sirolis Carbo about joining up. I see. Thank you. I trust you know what you're doing with that spell. Oh, you all shut up about my spell. <clears throat> Anybody up here? Read. Captain's Guide to the Fishy Stick. Sorioni's Sermons. I don't understand what looks dangerous. What spell have I got? Because I have my thralls. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. What do we have down here? Any people? I can speak to about possible quests. A bathhouse. I see. Three chances folly. Very well. Interesting. Excuse me, Lucian. Oh, shut up! For crying out loud. No, I just saw people shut up for a moment. Give me a moment. Fights his training call. Interesting. Wouldn't mind paying it a visit at some point, but I'm in no interest here. right now. Give a holler if you have any questions. Very well. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Living in air still. Who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans. And I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenscar, the fort southwest of the city. Well, nothing here stolen, nothing at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. I see. I could return the ring it's for not you. That easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Oh? Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Sounds good. What have you got for Trinkets, sale? Odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Ooh, I don't have one of those yet. Interesting. Ring of Champions. You also have an ally within 40 feet, 10 points per second. Ring of Splendor. Ooh. Pretty cool. Praying guy. Mm. Very well. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. Don't worry, I'm not that stupid. Mr. Dragonfly would like to take a moment to remind you that he is invaluable and irreplaceable. I see. If you need anything else, just ask. Well, I wanted to just go outside, really. I really like these summons. 
sound effects of them and everything. Just sounds really cool. Oh, little baby skeevers, I see. That's why I was hearing all that noise. Damn, this place, yeah, it's really run down. Looks like a proper slum. Well. Let's just head outside onto the dock. At least I think this is the way to the dock. I might be a little wrong. I might be a little right. Who knows? This is the way to the dock. Honestly, I should eat some food. I'm kind of starving myself here. And that weighs the most. There we go. What do you want? There's nothing for the likes of you here. Meh, for the pit fights in the old arena. Fine. But you don't get in here for free. If you want to watch a fight, you'll have to place a bet before you can go in. Very well. Argonian assemblage. Assemblage. Interesting. Greetings. We're used to getting by on scraps, but the Shatter Shields want everything for nothing. Someone giving you trouble? Torbjorn Shatter Shield. I wish someone would beat the coin out of his fat fists. He clings to every septum. He says an Argonian's labor is only worth a tenth of a proper Nord worker. My people are not slaves. What if I talk to them? You can try, but we've got nowhere talking to him ourselves. Why are all the dock workers Argonians? We work where we can get work. The Nords don't like unloading their ships, so we do it instead. Sometimes cargo goes missing. How long have you lived in Windhelm? I came here as a hatchling. The only thing colder than Skyrim is the Nords themselves. But we stick together. I see. May the earth beneath your feet be always soft. Thank you. The Nords don't appreciate us. But so what? I don't appreciate them right back. Skyrim isn't very friendly for our goons, so we mostly just keep out of the way. I see. Are you always so happy? Oh, yes. After all, what's the point in being miserable all the time? Fair. I know life on the docks isn't easy. Sometimes life puts you in difficult circumstances you didn't choose. But being happy or unhappy is a choice you make, and I've chosen to make the best of things that I can. Understandable. I enjoyed our talk. Yes, but me too. Hissed, if I don't get something soon, I don't know how I'll get through the week. Are you all right? No, I'm not. I feel like my scales are clawing into me. Maybe you could help an old Argonian out? I heard some of the sailors talking about how they stashed a bottle of double distilled skooma in the Nissus Corner Club. I just need a taste. Uh, I'll get it for Thank you. Thank you. I'll be waiting for that bottle. I would not complain if you returned with some skooma. Huh? What's that now? Leave me alone. Ooh. I want it. I really, really want it. I'll have to remember that that's there. Be careful. I'm stuck. There we go. Well, that was uh, rather uh, wholesome, I guess. Let's continue. Clan Shutter Shield Office. East Empire Company. Windhelm Clockwork Terminus. 
I don't know what the hell this is. That sounds really weird. Clockwork Terminus. Requires a key to open. Hmm. Fascinating. I want to know what the hell this thing is, but uh, don't have the key for it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Clockwork terminus. Hmm. No idea what the hell that is. Be careful. Really don't. Skyrim isn't very friendly for our goals. Here we go. So we mostly just keep it this way. And this way isn't. Oh, wait. Warehouse. Uh, Captain Gallery. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. How much will it cost, Solstein? Surprised you've never heard of it. It's an island northeast of here. That's a small dark elf town called Ravenrock, and a handful of Nords living in Skull Village. People don't usually sail over there unless they have a particular reason. It can be a pretty rough place. Very well. How much would it cost I'll give me? You a fair price. I've never known not many people headed over there these out. days. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. Why so there at all then? They still pay me for supplies and passage, and I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Yes, yeah, five hundred gold. You've got yourself a ship, but we'll cast off immediately. Thank you. I like how I just saw Blaze running around in the background. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. May as well, while I'm here, get Solstein unlocked. Welcome to Ravenrock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. I see. There is something that is useful to me here. The first person that I was worshipping at the start, I want them back. Gives me bonus sneak attack damage with one handed weapons and whatnot. But I really want it. I don't recognize you, so I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Just looking for work. You picked one of the worst places in Morrowind to do that, but suit yourself. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Why are you so suspicious of visitors? I have to be. The second counselor, security of Ravenrock was my primary concern. Has security being an issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After I see. all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. What do your titles Councilor mean? Morvain House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second counselor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. 
I see. It's a purely Dumbus settlement. Ravenrock started out as an imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles. But when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. I and see. even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. What is the city of Blacklight? How can you have done more blood in your veins and have no knowledge of Blacklight? It's the capital of Morrowind. It's been that way ever since Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. The Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. <coughs> <coughs> Happened, attempted expansion, revenge for the enslavement of their people, or perhaps both. Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. Many more were exiled from their homeland. I see. Hail, Jolan. Well met, Admiral. Before you even ask, yes, have the supplies you requested. But. But what? Me double what we've agreed on. There's nothing I can do about it. Damn it, Jollans, you know we don't have that much coin. Look, the East Empire Company didn't give me a choice. They've raised their prices again, and there's nothing I can do about it. After all these years, they're gouging us for every last drake we have. Let me talk to Laryl. I'll see what we can do. All right, Admiral. Don't worry about rushing. Just pay me when you can. Why have you taken off everything again? I take it by trade, you mean dump all your useless junk on me? Uh, Fine. He's just obsessed with being naked. He can't stop. I'm glad that's sorting. Every time. Open the temple. Actually, no, yeah, that's where I want to be, the temple. Shred of Befala. Through sneak attack from behind. Pose your weapons. Strike a seam and sneak attacks. Intimidate the weak. Dark elves and monsters serving in my favor. Yes. That is what I want. And I'm going to have to be on top of praying from now on. Because I want to actually properly use this thing. Uh, system. This is such a boring temple. Where's all the singing, the dancing, the human sacrifice? Quit your whining. Just pray. Matches are so cute. I hope with you aren't planning to fight in those clothes. Wubble, wubble, Leave wubble. them with me <laughs> around. You wouldn't last a few seconds. Gosh, now. <clears throat> it is time to move on. In fact, I'm going to do that quest that we got. Because unlike most... I'm gone. You only have killed Grelard, White Vile, Steel Plans from Broken Helm. Hello. Oh dear. Hmm. 
this. This is what we want to do. Stony Creek Cave. You're looking for passage. Talk to Captain Gallup. Taking passage to Windhelm? How long have you been to sea, Captain? I've been sailing the northern maiden across the Sea of Ghosts for nearly 20 years now. Have you always served as a ferryman? I used to fish the waters around Soulside. Made a damn fine living at it, too. I see. But over the years, the ash from Red Mountain poisoned the sea up there, and the fishing became difficult. If it weren't for my supply runs to Raven Rock, I'd have likely sold my ship by now and moved back to Riften. Like a passage about Skyrim. The ship's ready to sail. If you there you go. Load up, and we'll get underway. Because this quest is oddly timed. If you take too long to do it for the guy. Um, you can actually fail the quest and not get the, uh, stat increases free. Oddly enough. So, yeah. Um. We will save the game. And I think I'm going to call it there. Next episode we'll go take care of that. If you've enjoyed today's episode, I apologize we didn't get much done. We've mostly been grabbing quests and stuff, but yeah. It's taken up quite a bit of time. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.